Hello everyone! Want to get every cool free items? Go watch the whole video! Click like and subscribe in the next 3 seconds! Alright let's go! There's a cool free item you can get from this game. In this game, you will need to players and a private server. You can use your alt account to play this game on another device or ask a friend to help you. Here's me creating my private server. And don't worry, the private server is free. Next, go to book 2. As you can see, I had my alt account join. Now let's play. Keep an eye on what I'm clicking. Click on commands. Set the map. Click chapter 1. Go to set mode. Click on player. Set piggy. And choose your friend or alt account. Finally, skip the timer. Now that we're finally here, what you need to do is unlock all the doors by finding all the missing keys. Sometimes the red key does appear here. Just keep in mind that even though you see me finding the missing key in this place, it doesn't mean you will also find it here. Remember, all the keys are in different hidden locations for everyone. I found the red key, now let's unlock the door over here. For me, this game is quite challenging, but once you know this map, it will be much easier for you to navigate. This map is small, making it easier to remember. I found the orange key, you can unlock the door right over here. I found a scissors, let's use them in this place. Finally, I found the blue key, let's unlock the door over there. I found the green key, let's unlock this door right over there. Lastly, I found the mop. Let's go back to the door where we unlocked it using the red key. Now we can proceed since we have finally unlocked all the doors with the red, blue, and green keys. Before we start, please ensure your volume is up so we can hear when someone knocks on the door. Click on the door and listen carefully. I heard two knocks. Let's make a note of that so we don't forget. Next, let's head to the cafe where the dice is located. Set the number on the dice to match the number of knocks we heard on the door. Now, go back. Click on the middle door again. I heard six knocks. However, in this clip, I misheard and wrote down five instead of six. So, I wasted a minute, but it doesn't really matter because you can knock on the door again, and once you put in the correct number, the third dice will appear, so you must keep an ear out for it. Now let's click the door again. I heard six knocks once more. Now, the third dice will appear next to this table since you set the second dice correctly. Set the dice to match the number of knocks we heard. Now, go back to the door.
it has finally been unlocked. Let's go inside. Once inside, you must flick all of the levers facing the wall and the gate will open. After that, go to every single torch and click on them until they blow out. Next, return to the levers and make them face the other side. In this final room is where you need to input your three-digit code from the three dice. On the walls, there are buttons with lines based on the number of lines on them. I have made a diagram to help you find all the buttons. Now, all you have to do is input all the numbers in order. Once you've done that, the last gate should open. And there you have it, we have finally obtained the items. We also obtained these free clothes along with this purple crown. This is how they look, they are quite challenging to get but very worth it once you have it. Join this game where you can obtain various codes to unlock free items. Follow the path I go. I'll show you each code that will help you get many free items. Take a look at these cool purple items. We also receive additional items, which are pretty cool too. Join this game! I highly recommend joining in the private server. Now, go to the gift icon. Enter Unicorn. And click Redeem. We now have the VR goggles. Go back. Click on your character. Select Glasses. Equip your VR goggles. Press F6 on your keyboard. The command should appear. Enter admin set mode cough as the first command. And then admin set map factory as the second. I highly recommend using a computer to make it easier. This command only works with a private server. To make the command disappear, press F6 again. Join the factory. Here, you need to scan the missing unicorn parts, which are easy to find.
Just take a note of this place. After scanning all parts, go over to the blue door. Now you will do a puzzle with the unicorn pieces. Click the head, then the wings, front legs, and tail. Once you've done it correctly, you should get teleported to this map. Follow every V and shoot all the zombies. The easiest way to kill all zombies is to crawl. Press X on the keyboard so you can't get hurt by the zombies. As you can see they can't even see you. This is the easiest way so you can kill them immediately. Now let's shoot their hot dogs and eggs since they can't see us. Every time you clear the zombies, the V appears. Follow it. Shooting zombies is absolutely fun. I enjoy this game, not gonna lie. Now let's shoot their balls. After completing all zombie waves, walk straight into the white area to claim the free item. Now let's collect the item. This is how they look. We even get free clothes. These items are easy to obtain and look great. Join this game. Straight forward to this ship. Now wait for the progress to end. To get the item in this game, you just have to win in the freeze tag mini game. You will either be a seeker or a runner. If you are a runner, you must stay away from the taggers, don't get caught, and avoid getting frozen. As a seeker, you must freeze all the players to win and get the free item. Our goal here is to win. If you win, you will immediately receive an item. Luckily, I won, so I got the item. This is how it looks. It absolutely looks cool. For the next game, we will obtain a free item from Vehicle Simulator. Click on the first one. Next, we need to get a car to travel around. Go to Vehicles and press drive to start driving the car. After that, click on the map and head to this place I'm pointing to. It's a laboratory. 
let's drive there together. Just follow where I drive and take note of this place so you will know where the laboratory is located. Press F to leave the car. Once we're at the laboratory, go inside. Now buy food from the machine in the correct order. Make sure to enter them in order. A secret elevator will appear once you do this. Then interact with the AR goggles on the ground and purchase them for $0. Now you will need to find and collect all 8 hidden data drives. Reset your character to start collecting the missing data drives. Now enable your AR goggles by clicking your phone. Go to settings, select Bluetooth, and turn it on to see all 8 hidden data drives. The data drives are scattered around the map. Follow the map I provided to locate them easily. I created a map marking where the hidden data drives are located. Keep an eye out for these spots, as they show where all the missing data drives are. After finding all eight, the laser door should open. After that reset your character again. Now, the last thing we need to do is rent the monster truck. Once we have rented the monster truck, we can use it to get inside the ship later on. I highly recommend renting it after finding all eight data drives. I will not use this monster truck since it's hard to drive, so I will use my favorite car instead. 
Follow me back to the laboratory. You will want to use the code as before in order. Now that we have all 8 data drives, we can enter this part of the base. Go down. Spawn a car and drive straight. Then enter the code 1985. The ship has finally opened. Now, we need to find a way to get inside the ship. As I mentioned earlier, you really need this monster truck. Let's spawn the monster truck so we can proceed inside. Now that we're finally inside the ship, sit on the chair. Then boom, you'll instantly get the badge. This radio is definitely worth getting even it's quite hard to get. This game called Beat the Scammers. Let's join. To obtain the item in this game, you need to interact with these NPCs or signs and provide them with the correct answer to receive the item. You need to do this for 10 of them. I will show you where they are. Don't worry, all the answers are unreliable, however, I recommend understanding the questions to avoid being scammed. This is how the item looks. Join this game called Shark Bite Classic. To get started, begin as a shark. I'm here with my alt account to make it easier. This also works in a public server for obtaining the item. Let's wait for the round to start. You need to be the shark. Once you're in, find and touch all four balls floating around the map. Just follow where I go to find them.
You will receive a super boost once you touch all four balls. Now follow me. Don't use the super boost yet. You will need to find a spot with green cracks underwater. I've seen the spot with green cracks. Let's go back and use the super boost to break the cracks. After destroying the cracked wall, wait until the memo talks end. Return to the lobby by waiting for the round to end. Once you're back in the lobby, follow where I go. Stand near this picture and click on the Say It button to drop the four balls. Now wait for another round to start. This time, you need to be a survivor. Take note of this place. Let's drive the boat and follow where I go. Dive underwater, and you'll see the Titanic submerged. Attach the four balls to the Titanic. If you run out of oxygen, float up and continue attaching the balls. After attaching the four balls, talk to Memo again to receive the gem. Do this quickly if you have enough time or wait for another round to start. Once you receive the gem, climb to the top of the lighthouse. Place the gem into the telescope. And point it directly at the sun or moon if it's night. portal will appear when you point the telescope at the sun. Enter the portal to fight the boss shark. Now you need to defeat the boss shark. After each attack, he will shoot rockets at you. Make those rockets hit the boss shark to damage him. Just watch how I defeated him. Finally, we did it! Once you defeat the boss shark, the ocean will split in half. Quickly walk straight and touch the item before the split ocean closes.
These are all the items we obtained. We also received blue clothes. This item is very cool and worth getting too. Search this game, it's called NFL Shop. Once you join in, you will automatically get the badge which means you got the item. Search up for this game. Unfortunately, you can no longer play this game. If you try to join, you will be kicked out. However, you can still get the item by joining the game even if you don't win the badge. This is my proof that I obtained the item simply by joining the game using my alt account. Look up for this game. When you join, go straight ahead until you see the parkour. It's right here. Now click on Quick Start. Your objective is to complete this hobby three times in under 1 minute and 25 seconds. If it takes you longer than that, try exiting the game and playing again. This hobby is quite challenging, and it took me about 10 tries to complete. Remember, you need to finish the obby 3 times and complete it in 1 minute and 25 seconds or less each time to earn the badge. If it takes longer, you will need to start over again. If you see this badge that means you get them. This is how it looks. Join this game called the 8th Annual Bloxy Awards. When you join, you will appear in this place. Now, wait until the loading progress ends. Just watch the show, which won't take a while, so grab some food while waiting. Once it's all over, go to the shop. And press collect your outfit to get them. Look how cool it is, a blue and purple set. We also get this as an extra. 